Welcome back, Red Play Kanoe Heroes and Tetsu no Star Metal. Things are wrapping up a little bit, aren't they? I do believe that everything is all prepared for next episode. In fact, yes, I'm very sure because. Well, we did a, a lot of almost filler type things last episode, actually. Sign music already. So we're just gonna get on our way instead of messing around with old boss battles like we did last episode. There we go. Oh, Pongo, you and your unfortunate maxed out stats. Seriously? No, oh, I just need one more before I can... Okay. And then... Klonoa and Gunts are pretty okay for now. Alright. Who's at what level? Everyone's at the same level. Beautiful! We're in a good place. And a brave, beautiful place to eat for... More long, difficult levels. Oh, yes! So we get introduced to an interesting type of enemy here. We'll see how that little spot was on the right in a moment. Oh. Ta da! Not that there's any real purpose to that, but. Ta da! Maybe these things are blue? No, they're red. Okay. Anyways, these things don't actually hurt you in any capacity. They're literally only here to annoy you. But. Likewise. They don't actually give you any experience. They only give you gold, and a lot of it. So, odd little enemies. Oh, come on, I actually hit him. He's cursed, too, darn it! He's not gonna level up too soon. Alright, Klonoa. The first enemy you encounter that they can actually deal damage in the entire level. Tower Vision, rather. Whatever. I'm just closer to level up. Yeah, everyone, technically speaking, but not by much. Oh yeah, can we actually kill these big ones? I don't recall if we tried that out last time. I'd imagine we could. But strictly speaking, the answer is yes. as easy as I'd like it to be. You guys can go away, though. I'm... well, yeah, of course, you're invincible while you're using your... special attack, so I don't have to worry about getting caught by these things while I'm using it, but it's still annoying having them running around, diverting your attention. Long attack. Okay. I think is actually currently sitting with the least experience of anybody anyhow, so might as well. Try to fix that up a little bit. Hello. There you go. Anybody else? There's another little hoping cage. That doesn't particularly matter. Go away. Now, they really don't inconvenience you in any actual way aside from just having you walk back to somewhere else, and it's really easy to avoid them anyway, so I don't know what the purpose is. Some more old enemies that give nothing in terms of money or experience. Beautiful. But because of these enemies in particular, you wrap up my last vision too, but especially with these new enemies are popping up everywhere, they drop tons of gold. You are gonna get more money than you know what to do with at this point in the game. This vision pretty much marks the st start of money being no object. Unless you actively try to not get money. I don't really see why you would. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Come on, guys. As long as you can keep moving, it's actually pretty easy in some of these parts, too. I was saying, hooray, another long difficult vision, and that is the case in some parts, but the rooms where you're basically just running amongst a bunch of fast enemies that I still don't know the names of. And I guess some glibs, but primarily those and the uh, enemies that put you in the cages, or rather enemies that are cages. All you need to do is keep moving, and Klonoa is the best group for doing that anyways. So there's no issue just playing around as Klonoa and running around everywhere. 
Okay, so up we go. Is that it? I feel like I'm missing something somehow. But if I killed everything, there's not really anything more I can do, is there? I don't think it forked anywhere either. I just don't want to miss any good equipment or anything, especially for Pongo since his stats are actually... Well, no, his stats are maxed out. I have better equipment for him. Alright then. There wasn't anything up to the left while I was there. I know there was this thing. Okay. I got the impression this first room is going to be bigger than it was. This is actually really simple and short. I think it's spoiled by the more recent rooms that take like 20 minutes to get through. Bomb! So that's the cool. That one? It's on it. It's that one. Oh well. It's not gonna help me. Um, on the other hand, we got. I believe this is well, experience times two. Oh, I got experience times 1.5. Oh, sorry. Sure. How many of those things do we have right now, anyways? 29. I'll have to read some of them soon. But one actually has really nice money, too. I believe that's the... Oh, is, how is that red? I don't know if that's crystal badge or what. I can't read that at all, actually. It's been months since I first... Oh, hello! Tried reading stuff in this game and actually learned some uh, katakana. So more enemies that only, for some reason, drop money. These ones, they actually can't reset, so I don't know why that's the case. They also inflict some kind of stats and then, oh, I don't know which one it is. I'll say it's silencing. Or, uh, amnesia is what silencing is in this game. Anyways, you might recognize these guys from good old Door to Phantom Meal. Or the Wii remake, if that's what your preference. Those enemies that, I mean, they're precisely this. They look exactly like they did in the last game, the last time they appeared way back then. They appeared in the final level, in fact. I do find that they just don't drop money, though. I'd rather they only drop money. I should probably be Pong with running through here, shouldn't I? Since there might be a wall, or rather a garland statue that I can only destroy with Pongo. No thanks for the healing, guys. Yeah, I can only just tear through these things. Kona actually has really nice stats, aside from the fact that he's a big punching bag. Except he's a punching bag that never gets hit anyways. So I managed to make min-maxing Klonoa's stats work. Alright, Klonoa is pretty much good for anything in this game. He's quite effectively all-purpose. Despite just having to not take much damage. Uh, having to avoid lots of attacks. But he's also the best character in the game at avoiding attacks. He's fastest. It somehow works. You know, it's almost as if you're supposed to completely ignore your defense stat. Nice as much as you're able. I. These guys are a little annoying, I'll have to admit. Not just because they don't drop actual experience, either. Oh no! Okay, I guess the inconvenience here is that I'm not gonna pick up the stuff that they just moved me away from. That, and they actually moved me pretty far away, but whatever. Oh yeah, heh! <laughs> They can also cause some certain issues. Like, I was just in a, uh, no change zone, an area where you're not supposed to change your character, except I was able to change my character, so that's why you saw that little two dings instead of one ding as I crossed that tile on the floor just then. Because I actually had to restrict my switching of characters before I could allow me to switch characters freely again. Oh! No, oh, okay. <laughs> Not gonna see one of those things hit me just yet. Hello. See, just that... For the principle of the thing, I'm gonna kill all these things before 
getting rid of the healers, just to show how useless they are. Beautiful. Anybody down here that happens to interest me? I do love this attack. This only have to attack with this weapon Lino has. Can I switch character right now? No. I need to do that in a moment. Now these enemies drop experience anyway, so it doesn't matter who I play as. I wonder if this part of the game is actually a little short on experience in general. It might be. Ah! Come on, go. Oh, hey, chest. Hi. Bah. I'm not trying to get one bomb to explode and the other to stay alright. There we go, I want both to explode. Now I go up. Pick up and up we go. Whoa. Hi. Oh, they do drop items, I guess. They probably drop a nice item since they're basically an endgame enemy. Hi. These are feeling like really straightforward words. A wind ring of all things. I is it a good wind ring? That's one, isn't it? I mean, whatever. Hey, so it just gets rid of something. What's that one? Really? Is that it? It is the one ring. Huh. So compare that and the new one. You realize I had so many nice one rings. Right, I'm definitely not going to use the new one, so I'm just going to get rid of that. As much as I'd like to sell it at some point. Not that I really need the money, frankly. Egg. Everything else is okay. Things are really easy going all of a sudden. This is not how things were in previous levels. Why oh, is this room? I think it is. It is. Ah. Uh, okay, so it does figure out something kind of annoying. <laughs> like they are in all the other, well, in all the 2D Clinical games and all other portable Clinical games. The devs are thinkers. They like making puzzles that are annoying. In this case, it's not really a puzzle, but they like to get creative. So what they did here is they basically made it so you can only enter each character's respective area as that character. Or respective teleport area. The result is being forced to play certain characters a lot in certain places. This isn't inherently bad, but it's used to some very unpleasant ends at some points in the game. But we're yet to get to those, thankfully. I have time to mentally prepare myself for that. No way, Moo. How, many... How, long have I... How long have I been finding those moves that particular sort? Oh, go away. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought I remembered these guys doing more damage than that. Make my is actually doing a decent job of not taking too much damage when he gets hit. Right, so clearly we can't really do much about that yet. But you can probably guess how we're gonna get to that thing anyways. For now we can actually have a little side... Go oh, away! Adventurous guns. Ah, uh, yeah, this also means that... So one of the annoying things about this, th though, is that basically it kind of forces you to make all your characters self-sufficient. Or just miss out on a lot of stuff. Ow! Stop that! So guns, for example, needs to be able to get rid of enemies that have actual armor that require special attacks. And you might do the same with Pongo too, unfortunately. It's kind of incompatible with my playstyle. It's not really an issue with Panoa, but anybody else can get a little annoying. Since even though Guns' special attack is okay, it's not the best. And there are certain situations that just don't do well as Gunson. Die, Moo! There we go. 
I don't know how I shot it right there. <laughs> I just hit its shield, but okay. So I have lots of projectiles flying around. I seem to have a hard time dodging things as guns. Oh. Hey, my, um... Angelia's guns is not as good as I thought it was. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that key, I believe we get that key, if I recall, from that little bit we needed Pongo to get into. So you don't need to beat guns until later. Now I can beat Pongo. I don't believe he needs to actually get rid of any special enemies. Since he's not going to be able to kill them anyways. Look, a whole seven damage. I mean, it's not about something to damage to him at all, honestly, but still. Not really much of concern to me. Oh, come on, man. There you go. Still hate having so few bombs to, that I can use at once. Oh, come on. With this thing. It's also really amusing to see Pongo dodge something. Big idea. There we go. Try something like that. And now we can get this. Beautiful. Now all we need to do is run off as guns, and then we'll be just about done with this room and this episode. Consequently, consequently. Oops. There we go. Door, door, hello. Door just has a key. Just to give Gaunt some reason for being here. And now we're good. Gotta surprise the levels have a level up yet. How close is he? Very. Okay. Well, see you guys next time. This episode looks like Clinol Heroes and Tetsuno Star Metal, where Clinol probably gets a level up. And will not get any kind of stat increase for it. It's the egg. Gunst needs the egg. Well, I was about to get a level up anyways, actually. You get an egg. Alright. What? Can't actually use these in a menu, so... Okay. See you guys!